Hey love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family. As always, thank you so much for the love and support. It is truly, truly appreciated. And I appreciate all the, the things that you send me by dropping your lines, your emails, you know, and just wishing me well wishes is truly appreciated. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you've been watching my videos for a while and have not and you're comfortable to please go ahead and drop me a line I would love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me and if you feel like the video just give good vibes you would love to share with the next person um to see if they can vibe or even higher please go ahead and do so it's truly appreciated um and I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video and the video I'm doing right now is called twin flame 101 getting the heart in line to accept what the mind is already acknowledged a lot of times our, our mind and our heart is not in the same frequency our mind will tell us one thing like hey you deserve happiness hey you deserve uh, you know peace into your life you know you deserve pers prosperity not allowing nothing or no one to hold you back but a lot of times when we're in our feelings in our heart our heart can overrun our mind you know if we're hurt by different things that's happening in our lives or we're having heart for giving and letting go with people the main thing is is because we won't allow ourselves to accept that situation is over or we're not allowing ourselves to accept that's just the way that person is or we have to allow ourselves to know quit faulting ourselves uh, for different things that we didn't have the insight we have now you know, there's times I look back at certain things that happened in my life and I was like, ugh, if I would have did it this way, this way, that way, I would be in this predicament. But then it's just like a lot of times when we hit those painful, you know, speed bumps, uh, we always place a regret that we, we went that certain direction or we connected with that person or we allowed our hearts to open to love a person that didn't love us back. And it's like, if you didn't go through this, what would you learn? You know, how, what would you know not, what to not look for? What would you know how to, there are certain things and adjustment that we had to do within our own personal. You know, how would you learn those different things if you never experienced a setback, if you never experienced a failure, you know, because failure can eventually lead you to its success. It's just all about what you're placing into it, putting the work into. And these are the things that's happening. You know, a lot of times it's hard for us to accept, you know, maybe we're not in clean, clean alignment for the things that we desire yet that, you know just because it's delayed doesn't mean it's denied you know universe wants to be able to bring things into our life that um that nurtures us they want us to be to that point where we're always showing gratitude to them even if it's like a little sunflower seed of gratitude and you're applying that towards you know a little sunflower seed of a blessing they're giving to you that's what i meant to say um and you're showing gratitude about that you know, and then when you're allowing yourself to accept, you know, if you want these things, you have to put in the work for it. And when you're putting in the work for it, you're showing yourself as well as the universe. You're wanting to match with what you know you want. Because a lot of times we just say, I deserve this, I deserve that, I should have got this, I should have got that. But did you put in the work to be able to receive that? That's the question, you know. Or were you in that vibe to know everything that's open to you is already on its way or you are going to reach that pinnacle? You know, and all those different things that was taking place is showing you that within yourself. You know, you have to be able to accept things. You know, sometimes it's hard for us to forgive people because we don't want to accept that those situations happened the way it did. It unfolded like that for a reason. If it was meant to be for you, it would have been for you. If it's not, it's taken away to replace it with better. And we learn that every day. You know, it, a lot of times, it's, like I said before, it's hard to forgive people um, because it feels like we're condoning the stuff that they have done to us. And it's not that. It's giving you peace. It's being able to allow you know that person you see in that, the true colors of what that person is. You know, and a lot of times people can do hurtful stuff to you. And it, it, it can be, it can be very hurtful. And it can be, you know, you'll hold grudges for that. I used to be that type of person, you know. I, when you did me wrong, it, it, you can really did me wrong. And then all of a sudden, I'll hear, you know, I would hear about that person like, oh, you know, Rosalind, you know, such and such passed away. And I'm like, I don't like that person. I'm still mad at them. You know, they can be dead and gone. And I'm still allowing my power to be invested in that person after they even passed away. And that I become that person. 
just because what that person did. Now it's just like, or I, you know, I used to, somebody can pop up talking to me and I might maybe forgot what they did. And I used to really want to go all the way down the nitty gritty to see why I didn't like them. And it was just at that point, what, what does it matter? You know, that person showed you who they truly are. And they're exactly where, when you, when people show you that, alone, that, that shows you your position within them or where you need to be. And a lot of times you got to separate yourself from that and just say, yo, I appreciate what you showed me. You know, because it showed me how you feel. A lot of times you have to know the darkest moments will bring out the true intentions of people that you were there to love. You know, and there are a lot of times God will put you in certain situations where you're tearing down your house and then people are all, you know, leaving you because your house is tearing down and not realizing you tore that down. You could be living in a shack and you tore, you know, you tore that down just to rebuild a mansion. And the people that come towards you in a way got hammer and nails and saying where we need to, you know, where we need to start at. Then it's showing you where your true friends are, you know, and it's showing you where, you know, where that is at. But it's just the point you have to be able to accept that for what it is, you know, really just accept it how it is. And those it is it's just. It, it can be hard for you to be able to get into alignment with your heart and mind. But if you're allowing yourself to make that your daily routine, you, you know, you start seeing everything as a sign. Everything is a tribulation, you know, a uh, uh, revelation to you. Um, the tribulations show revelations to you. There's certain things that you had to know. And if you did not go through those tragedies, there's a lot of things you would have missed out about yourself. A lot of things that you, you know, you would have missed your weight on. You know, if you were in a toxic relationship, you, you can see the different red flags that was there. There's a lot of times that we stay into different things and we will constantly overlook things that showed us that caught the shine. It's like, why didn't you give me the sign? Why didn't you tell me that person was like that? You know, it's like, yeah, we did. We showed you. You know, but you kept on overlooking that and using the excuse for that. So I could snap at you one minute and be hee hee ha ha a minute and when it's not beneficial towards them, they go right back to them ways again. And that was showing you this person is all about themselves. You know, um, it, it was like, well, I forgot what that channel was that I listened to. And he, he always talking about OPs. I forgot what it was where, you know, somebody emails him and tells him the different things that's going on in their life. And they give updates where this one woman, um, I guess it was like the guy she was seeing, you know, um, start having financial trouble and doubt and stuff like that. And even though she, she lived good, I think it was, I think they said she had like a trust fund or whatever. And she said, I didn't want to base our relationships on money. You know, because that's what it'll become. And then all of a sudden, she started helping him pay his debt off. She was starting to help him buy a car. You know, she bought him a snowmobile, this and this and that. And then, you know, when they first started dating, she, you know, he asked her to answer the phone. And it was like a bill collector asking for this, this, that, and the third. And then when, when they said that, and they were talking about the story, I'm like, man, they played you for real. Because he, you know, he knew what he was doing because he, that's why he asked you to answer the phone. Because he wanted you to be able to do that. You know, some people you know get with other people to see what they can benefit off of there's just some people that are like that you got to be able to accept you know yeah that person did this this and that to me but it, it'll be what what kind of good can you get out of that situation what is your heart what is your mind trying to tell you that your heart is not acknowledging that person was all about themselves because when tragedy hit you know um and it was just like something she went through and I guess it was like, you know, she was helping her mom out and put her on her bank account and everything when she got a new job next, you know, the woman took over $34,000 out of her bank account. I mean, when I told you I almost lost my birth, I'm like, oh Lord, uh-uh, my mama, are you serious? <laughs> you know, and really did that. And it was on top of that, she had to deal with the gold digging boyfriend at the same time. I said, that was universe uh, intercepting for you. Because it tried to show you when you came out dealing with downs in your, um, on your dumps. Now the shoe's on the other foot when you're going through desperation. All he could think about, you were supposed to help me with this. And now it just seems like when I need your help for something, now all of a sudden this is coming through and I don't believe you. And I don't, I don't know, I looked at her like, uh-uh. You know, you don't help them all through these different things. And then this pops off. That just shows you this is not the person you need to be with. And we had to be able, she had to be able to accept that. That man was all about himself. And then when you needed him, he was still about himself. That's not a team building situation. It's an eye building situation. What can I, what can I take advantage of with you? What can I manipulate with you? You know, and she ended up eventually end up leaving him alone. I know the situation about my mom, but I was like, I'm so glad she left him alone because she was supposed to end up getting married to him. And that was a blessing. She dodged that whole cannon bomb when, when that mess happened. But she had to be able to accept that was just how he was. 
you know and there will be different times I was looking at my situation it was just like what why is it hard for me to just part ways with that because I wasn't accepting this is what happened I'm not accepting this per these people these individuals are just like that you know this is showing you what could take place if you persist on doing things a certain way and that's where your blessing is because you're seeing what you can come if you if you make those choices in that way so that was the blessing in disguise for you to see it on the out out you know outside looking in and um and it, it could be that point where you know you deserve better in your life these things you had to be able to come in contact with to learn those lessons to be able to overcome to achieve the healing process that you know you deserve you know a lot of times we we get to that point where we resent the choices we made but you had to understand that was a lesson that needed to be taught through those sequences of bad choices you know because i look at my situation it's just like dang i've been through a lot but the blessing is it showed me so much about myself that where I needed to heal from. Whatever triggered me, it showed me where I had to take my power back from. Um, it had to be able to come to terms to accept, coming from my mind, that I'm not the same person I used to be. I can't be shameful of the things that I used to do. I couldn't be shameful of the choices, the bad choices I made. But did I live from it? Did I learn from it? Yeah. So that was my blessing. I had to be able to allow my heart to become in alignment with what my mind had already knew, you know, and it's all about accepting, realizing certain things come to an end, but sometimes it comes to a bad ending to bring a beautiful beginning, you know, and those are the things that universe and God wants us to focus on, accept what has taken place, accept the life lessons that brought you out of that hurtful situation allow yourself to forgive not because you're condoning their actions but give you that peace that you're not holding on to baggage that can keep you from getting something else so you know you have to work on that every day you know you really have to work on that every day and right right now with everything purging there's so much that's coming up and a lot of times we can catch ourselves in emotions because certain things come up that can be very triggering for you, you know. But then it's just like, you know, when I see different things that come up and it was really dreadful to me. And I allow myself to be, congratulate myself. Y'all are supposed to give yourself those tiny victories. You congratulate yourself on that. You can go through a day and all these different bad memories that really like corrupted your soul came up but you never you allowed yourself to observe it for what it was and see the lesson out of that but you let it go with love and gratitude that it brought that type of lesson into your life to help you strengthen yourself you know or a different thing that a person's done to you that you didn't do anything to them it just shows you they're not used to genuine people being in their life they don't know what genuine looks like because there's a lot of times that they've been connected with people it was all about themselves it was always about hidden motives or, or cruel intent and then when you walk in somebody's life that all, all you want to do is see them do better you want better for their life you want best for their life even you know when they feel discouraged you you, you give them an uplift you encourage them you know and then it comes down to a point where they strike go left on you and they dog you in the worst kind of way and you know you can be very hurt like god i poured my heart to that person i was genuine with that person and i wanted to see them grow i wanted to see the best out of them but then it came to the where the mind is like telling you they're not used to that type of person that you are you know a lot of times people hurt you not realizing you were the one that god sent to you to bless them and they end up forfeiting that you know and that's something that doesn't have anything to do with you they they broke their blessings on what was supposed to come in just by the way they treated you and how they did you but you still gonna get blessed on a on a you know on the round long run and you know as long as you you're not allowing yourself to take retaliation on that you know and it's a lot of time when people hurt you they want to hurt you bad or if they you said something to them they didn't like even though it's the truth it was hard from the digress they want to hurt you back you know but you have to accept that's what type of person that that person is being able to accept you know a certain part of your life that was very disturbing you know a chapter in your life you know but then you see all the beautiful things that came out of that ugly situation it, you know it allowed you to see you who you were it helped you get to your higher self it helped you become better it helped you know what you did not want to become and what you did want to become you know you're making your solid choices on this is what I want in my life you know 
but you can't wait for it to sit to come up in your lap, you know, and then we get mad, like, why I didn't get this, why I didn't get that? You, if you put the work in for it, then universe is going to make moves for you. When you know you're stepping out of your own way of your process or your progress and being able to lay it on the line like universe, God, there's so much stuff that's going on in my life. I know you know more than I do. You know, I know you, you took people out of my life because there was moves that they were making against me. You know, there was different conversations that was talked about me, the different things that they tried to plot on me. So you part them out my life. And those are the things that God will do for you. He'll allow you to go through that experience, allow you to connect, but then they don't take that person or, or that equation out of your life. And, you know, a lot of times it's hard for that because that's a challenge. That's a change, and we're so used to that routine. And it's doing that, but it's like the heart. You have to allow your heart to accept what the mind already already acknowledged of. This is a situation that's already over. You know, you're, you're, you're matching, you know, your energy of what, you know you deserve this situation puts you to that point to be able to do that and I'm just like dang that hit deep that's really deep and it, it makes a lot of sense because it's like God will turn up when God know he want good for you and you ain't putting in that work to where you know this is what he wants you to have oh, he'll turn that heat way up to where it's like things are hitting you left right left right left right all at one time your mind your body you know your whole life is just falling on in and all this stuff is coming up. And then it gets to that point like, hell, I'm, I'm fed up with this. You know, and you look at yourself in the mirror like, I'm tired of you holding me back from myself. Because it ain't the people. It's not the enemies. It's, you know, issue. You know, and I had to be able to allow myself to say that. You, you are holding that back because you gave it permission to come up in there and destroy something that can't be destroyed. You know, it, it's all about illusion. They can't destroy that. You know, only you can because you, you, you allowed yourself to see that that lie is that you're a truth and you're not defining that you know you're not a definition of you're not a product of what is taking place you're a product of what took place to overcome that's what you represent you know you're representing yourself these are the things that had to happen these are the life lessons when you see how people can take you out your character it's showing you where your character needs to be solid at this this is it, it has to be a give or take you know somebody put something in there a lot of times you you know people will trigger you and you know and they it ain't got nothing to do with you but just being able to allow yourself to say oh you know because a lot of times people do things just to get a reaction out of you and you don't react to it they have to move on to something else you know and then it's just all those little life lessons it's like I needed that this this has really showed me so much about myself that I really need to know and I love that part about myself I love myself because it showed me so much about what I didn't like you know, and a lot of times we can re be repulsed by the things that we have talked about. A lot of times we feel like we have to full, full guard, you know, full, you know, over overturn, whatever you want to call it, towards light. And we want to ignore that dark part of ourselves. We have to acknowledge that. We have to be able to appreciate what has taken place with just seeing how, f how come these things that we have gone through has made us a person of better. You know, you you know, even though you're not exactly where you want to be at right now, you are nowhere near the person you were when you first started. And you got to be able to give your benefit of that. Like, again, you know, tiny victories. You can go a whole day where things is coming up where you used to be that type of person. I told people my, my pain and my tragedies were my ace boom coon. Me and them were best friends. But then when I allowed myself to say, no, I deserve better. You know, I, I can't change what happened in the past, but that must change the best out of me to make me a better person. I don't have to entertain that. I don't have to be around those people. I don't have to keep on allowing myself to go down that road. That was my choice to keep doing. You know, and it's just like you'll notice that change within yourself that uh, where it disturbs your soul to move a certain way. You know, I'll be in a video or, you know, I could be, it, it could have been that time where I'm in my feelings about something. And then I made that, that video about what that person did. And it's just like, you can't be doing that. Stop giving that energy. Stop playing that airplay towards that person or towards that, that situation. But you can see, you can flip that script and say, you know what? I was in a situation where it really just put me all up in my feelings about this. But then it taught me, you got this. Remember who the f*** you are. You know, this is really showing you who you are to the core you are a warrior you're representing your whole line of that bloodline where they have trust you know they have trusted you with this change they see the confidence and the power that you have you got that that potent magic that's the reason why they picked you for exact moments like this you know you couldn't overcome this god in the universe would have never you know chosen you in the first place if they feel like you couldn't conquer that 
you know and that's what the mind is trying to tell you these are the things that happen to you to show up and show out in your life because it helps you find you for who you really are what you need to work on because you unprogramming that is not an easy story that is not a, you know not an easy story but it's not an easy experience to go through you're allowing yourself to bypass the fears and stop playing safe you're allowing yourself to speak up when you once were um, silent. You're allowing yourself to stand up for yourself where you were once manipulated. All those different things is take, taking place to help you grow in so many ways. You know, when you allow yourself to do that, like I told y'all, it's like I could be in my feelings about something and I can speak on it. And it was like, my soul was like, girl, what are you doing? And you're like, you know what, let me start this video. I could be, it could be a whole hour video and I would just take it down. And I said, girl, come correct. This is, you know, this ain't even about that. You know, you ain't got to worry about that. It's already taken care of. Allow yourself to come correct. You know, teach us, be, be, you know, be selective about what energy you're placing in. When you can allow yourself to see what has happened in your life. You know, it's easy for you to see everything in a pessimistic vibration, pessimistic negative frequency. But when you when you say this situation taught me how to grow, this situation taught me to stay motivated within myself. This situation had me determined this is not where my life is going to end at, but it's going to be damn sure where it's going to end to begin. And those are the different things that, you know, we had to be able to go through. These are the different things that we can be nurturing towards ourselves from. Because you're overcoming a lot of different things that many people are terrified to approach. And we had to be able to accept that too. If you weren't powerful, you wouldn't have people intimidated by you. They wouldn't fear you. There's something about you in your presence. There's something about you that they don't have. And that's the reason why they do that. That lets you know you got something very powerful working up in, in, into you and uh, for you on your behalf. And that, that people tend to destroy that because they don't want that to happen. And you have to be able to acknowledge that that's how they are. But obviously that, that lets you know, oh, you know, if I'm doing something that's going to piss you off, sit there and watch. I'm, about to, be, I'm be, about to be doing some more. It don't even have to be personal revenge about that. But when you can allow yourself to speak like you're anointed, you speak, how you, you speak and you see how you're chosen. You know, um, then you can allow yourself to know these things have strengthened me. These are the things that allowed myself to go completely 360. You know, it's like 360. I know what I said. <laughs> it's, it's just like it, you're you're allowing yourself to go so many times around that that block. And the more you're going around that block, you're starting to strengthen yourself. It's just like when you work out every day. You know, it may be sore, but then you're starting to build muscle within yourself that you didn't know that was there. You're starting to see that you enjoy doing these things. It allows you to blow off steam. It allows you to release. It allows you to do this. And it's allowing you to do that. But, you know, it's allowing you to get into that alignment. You know, it's just things are so hard. That's dark night of the soul. You know, it allows a whole bunch of stuff to keep coming up. And it comes up in repetition. It comes, you know, mon you know uh, moderately. You know, you can be one minute. You think you're all you know forgivable and oh I'm over this over, over that the next you know something else will come up and it'll trigger you right back into that thing it's just telling you yes you are healing but there's still more layers that has to be uncovered these are the things that you know you can't hold on to it's not meant to come up for you to you know put yourself in that emotion again on what has taken place because you're allowing yourself to relive that pain all over again but then when you're allowing yourself to look at it it's like oh that person taught me this this is allowing me to know the situation helped me grow. Let me appreciate that because it showed me so much about myself I didn't know. I, don't, I wasn't, you know, knowing this part of me existed because there's a lot of part of us is, is that forgotten level, you know, that forgotten direction. And these are the things that's making you remember that. And, you know, it's just like when you're doing that, it's like our, our mind and our heart and our soul is all discombobulated. It's in a disarray. But now it's like through that healing your heart and your mind is, you know, is first your your soul is creating that str that stamina, saying, "I am more powerful than I give myself credit for." There's a part of me that is so desperate on wanting to connect with me, so I can allow myself to see that beast within me that I really have. You know, just because life was hard for me, I'm not gonna let my my, my life become hard. You know, 
it just showed me where my strength is supposed to be. It just shows me where my magic, you know, needs to go into that counter reaction to, you know, and these are the things that's going to help me get there. So allow yourself to accept things for what they are. You know, a lot of times it's not, it's going to be a day by day process. You know, it's not easy to do, but the more you allow yourself to know universe is working in your favor, the more universe is going to work for you. So when you allow yourself to accept how situations were that strengthen you, you can allow yourself to close that door. When you allow yourself to forgive the unforgivable, it allows you to take your power back on what was never supposed to happen in the first place. You know, it, you know, situations that brought you there, it allowed you to acknowledge what you didn't know was there. So it's all about a blessing in disguise, and a lot of times we have to be able to force ourselves to see that. But when you keep telling yourself things are going to, you know, if, if you're moving in bad intent, bad intent is going to happen. If you're moving good intent, good intent is going to be able to happen. You know, what other people's opinions of you, their, their def definition of you does not define you. Whatever is taking place in your life does not define you. It only can strengthen you, you know, but it's just up to you to make that choice to what you want to choose. So I hope you were able to resonate with the content of this video. Y'all thought I was going to do a CS today, but I was just like, no, I'm empowered. I want to be making these videos, you know, when I can be able to see things in a different way. And I know I can share it, share it with other people to be able to allow them to do the same. You know, you just don't know how your words can be very inspirational. It's, you know, it's, it's inspirational that you help acknowledge something within yourself. And you're like, dang, I really got this. You know, I'm the ish. You know, not saying in a condescending, you know, selfish, narcissistic way, but you have to think highly of yourself. You know, that that's not a sin. A lot of times people are forced to say, when you see about yourself like that, you place that extra love in yourself, that's being selfish. No, it's not. No, it's not. What being selfish is, is when you're allowing yourself to put yourself on last priority for other people that ain't going to do that for you. you. You know, a lot of times th things like that happen where we put ourselves aside you're just teaching people that you'll always play second to your own life but then when you allow yourself to be okay with saying no you have to be okay to do that you do things because you want to do it not because you're obligated you know you want to be able to do that and because it's, if it's forced it's not genuine so you want to do things in the kindness of your heart and you already know play it forward you know, good things is going to happen to you. Even when it don't feel like it is, good things are happening for you. It's just you pray for something and sometimes it's like it, everything's going to hell. But it, it's just the fact is your prayers are being answered just in the way it's just not expected. It's happening that way because it, it's, it's creating bigger for you. It's making you better for, for a better of you. And it's creating something to be the best version of yourself. So, you know, allow yourself to work on that every day. Just one step at a time. And not every day is going to be a good day, but never bad. It's not going to be bad. But you always can find something good within that day. It's just up to you to find it. So, I hope you are able to resonate with the content of the video, y'all. And, um, you know, whatever you're manifesting into your life is going to come so much bigger and better. Especially if you have been on that road where it just seems like you're constantly getting pulled back. Constantly having things stopped out of your life and all hell breaking loose. It is creating something bigger and better for your life, you know, and God's going to open that door for you. And when he opens that, it's going to be more than you ever expected. So, you know, if he's making you wait, it's going to be something big. It's going to be epic for you. And if you allow yourself to keep believing in everything is possible for you, it's going to come in sooner than you expect it. So you keep going, keep supporting yourself, keep moving. You know, if you have to take a pause for the cause, you go ahead and do that. But you keep moving. Allow yourself to become, even if you fell down, you have a stronger pickup. That's all you have to do. Find your setback, major setback, bigger comeback. So, uh, even through social distancing, make sure you give out love, light, positivity, words, vibes, frequencies. You never know. Those things really take somebody a long way. And as always, I'll leave my contact information in the description box below. It's all about spiritual networking to give you that deeper understanding of your purpose. You know, people share things with me. Um, and want my insight about that and I try my best to be able to help them out the best way I can through my experience or you know from the laws of the universe and they give me the insight to give you as well to further that and whatever we speak on is confidential so you'll see me on my next video I love y'all so much and I hope you have a blessed Sunday uh, well you'll probably see this uh, on Monday I don't know no telling uh, but whatever day you see this on I hope you have a blessed one and may God continue to bring prosperous vibes towards your journey and you'll see me on my next video. Much love. Peace.